I was reading that piece on Garrett Crochet on MLB.com MLB and his organization was saying, and I wrote it down so I didn't mess it up, he's always had the stuff, he was fast-tracked to the big leagues and went from reliever to starter and now they just have to try and manage it, which I would imagine is difficult for them and for him to kind of adjust to all of it. Yesterday, wa watching him just first off, some of these games being played in the, these tough conditions, yeah. it, I mean, advantage pitcher to the nth degree, mm -hmm. Special, especially when you have elite, elite, elite power stuff. Ooh. You can pretty much just go get it. Half the team is dressed like Nanook of the North. I mean, no one wants to be in the box. You're getting blown up left and right. But this has been an awesome. I mean, Matt Olson was wearing a North Face jacket. We're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to show you a little bit because we're going to get into I mean, this. Come on. What are we doing? Put a roof <laughs> on it. Come on. Let's get into the tape with Garrett Crochet right here, can we? All right. Take a look at this. I want to break him down a little bit. Converted, like you said, drafted as a reliever. They did the same thing with Chris Sale. They got him to the big leagues as quick as possible. They took him out of the bullpen, and then they slow converted him to a starter. Chris Getz knows what he's doing right here. He trades Dylan Cease away, and he looking for that number one. If you watched opening day, Crochet, he decimated the Tigers with a lot of breaking stuff. But he was elevating the heater to the Atlanta Braves yesterday. This is a big time. Watch this at bat. I mean, he just takes him apart. That's right Ronald Acuna. 98 Jr., at way. the top of the zone. 98 at the top of the zone. And now I'm going to spin something off the same tunnel. And he has got no answer for it. Adam Duvall, you get in the box. We're going to elevate heaters to you as well. Little get me over backdoor 96. Look like a little cutter almost. 97 four seam top of the zone. 97 inside heater, break something off, and now go right back to the top of the zone. You're hanging on for dear life if you're Adam Duvall in this situation. And there it is. So pause this, bring up the heat maps for me, can you? So take a look, 20 to 23, he was kind of your prototypical coming out of the bullpen. I'm gonna let it eat, middle of the zone, kind of leaking out over the plate to a right-handed hitter. 2024, the, the early parts, his fastball has been elevated at the top of the zone and in. It's been an early theme for a lot of these lefties. The ability to get inside on right-handers to free up kind of whatever they want. But when you pitch at 98 miles an hour, you can make good big league hitters look really bad. If we get back into the tape, there was a couple swings. I mean, that is a get off me ball. 97 on the fists of Ozzy Albies, who's already got two homers. How about jam sandwich to Austin Riley there in the fourth? 98. No lefty has a chance. Michael Harris, he doesn't even have to bring out his good stuff right now. It's a little cutter at 92. Throw that again. 94 at the top of the zone. Get right back outside with that cutter. Yeah. Three pitches. And it's over. And then well, Ronald Acuna even I, I see. It's a man. Is mean, that a candy necklace? It's a man. That's what I asked. Is that a candy necklace? It is. Remember those? We talk about extension, velocity, stuff. Bring up the last board because Garrett Crochet, pitch velo. Take a look. Ranks, left-handed starters. He's first. Spin rate, he's first. Perceived velocity, second. Max Velo, he's first. So we talk about some of the best stuff in the game for starting pitching. Wow. Garrett Crochet, you want to catch him August. 100 degrees, maybe you have a shot. Yesterday, that was unfair. And Ronaldo Lopez threw the heck out of the ball, too, for the Atlanta. Crochet's 16 strikeouts are the most in a pitcher's first two career starts in White Sox history.